know, I'm a little bit different. I'm willing to take one of the big three quarterbacks. that are available at the end of round three, start around four. So if Tom Brady or Aaron Rodgers or Drew Brees are still there and my turn comes up late three, early four, I'll do it. But in many leagues, you're going to miss out on them. And I'm okay if that happens. At the higher end, Russell Wilson's my first fallback option. If he's still there after the sixth round, you got to keep in mind, Wilson played hurt for most of last season. The addition of Jimmy Graham made that offense a lot more dynamic last year. And with health, Wilson should be much more of a threat to make plays with his legs this season. But even if you miss out on Wilson, there's value later on. Phillip Rivers, really interesting in the mid-tier right now. Regardless of what happens with Mike Williams, I know there are some stories out there that he might miss the entire season as a result of his back injury. This is still a very good group of pass catchers the Chargers have at their disposal. They've got Keenan Allen coming off a torn ACL. Tyrell Williams looked outstanding as a temporary number one last season. Hunter Henry is really kind of taking the torch from Antonio Gates. He's a big threat in the red zone. And even Gates himself can still get on the field in some red zone situations. So Rivers is a full complement of weapons at his disposal. He's a great value going around round eight, round nine right now if you miss out earlier. And if you wait too long and you're looking back and 12, maybe 14 quarterbacks are off the board, you still have an option. Andy Dalton. The way Cincinnati is set up offensively right now, Andy Dalton's never been better positioned for a big fantasy season. He's had two years now where he's gone over 4,200 yards through the air. I think he can beat that, maybe get up closer to 4,400 with some of the weapons they've got. Rookie John Ross added to a group that already includes A.J. Green and Tyler Eifert. Plus, the running game should go up a level as well. You add Joe Mixon to that backfield. He can catch passes if needed. Gio Bernard ahead of schedule in his return from a big injury at the end of last season. And Jeremy Hill still there for short yardage work as well. So the Bengals offense as a whole looks like one that could take another leap forward. Andy Dalton's fantasy value uh, really becomes a lot more interesting as a late round target at quarterback. 